Greetings, this is Rob for Android Community, and today we're going to take a look at the Minuem keyboard. And this one's been around for quite some time, but as of today, the 2.0 version was released as well. They offered up a free trial version, specifically a 30-day trial version. And, well, that inspired us to give it a look. So, we have your basic Evernote note opened here for editing, and as you can see, the keyboard along the bottom. And while that may look rather crazy and different at first glance, if you tap and hold two fingers, it'll pop up and open to a regular keyboard, your basic QWERTY layout. And coincidentally, this is also where you'll uh, easily be able to turn the auto correction on with the blue or off where it's grayed out. So we'll leave that on for now. And uh, to shrink that down again, just tap and hold with two fingers. And as you'll see, it's your regular QWERTY layout, just kind of smushed. You still have your Q, W, E, R, T, Y, it, and then A, S, D. The letters still go in the same order. It's just a little different to look at. One of the perks, though, is how Minuum touts you can type sloppily, not have to worry as much as you go. And... Well, between the free trial and the promise of that and more screen real estate, which we took a look at on the Omate, it came with some uh, pleasant surprise. As we mentioned in the post that accompanies this video, we're not ready to call it our default just yet. However, Typing with Minium is easier than expected. So, we have been enjoying this on the Moto X. Well, this one isn't going to apply to quite as many people. We did want to show it off real quickly. We will come in here. Actually, let's go ahead and close that note out. And we'll. Come in here, and we'll open things up for editing here. And it's a little more difficult. And there you go, see it? A little more difficult, but it is still somewhat of an improvement. And you'll notice the uh, how I swiped to the right earlier, that puts the space between words, and uh, a swipe to the left will take you back and erase a word as well. Uh, a little trickier to do on this one, given the smaller size. So we'll come back here real quick. We, um, you know, the two fingers there. Now press and hold here brings up some other options to include voice and whatever. Uh, voice, the settings, all that good stuff. And if you are in the lower keyboard, say press and hold on the Y, it brings up the other, other options. So you can enter different text like that. Anyway, if nothing else, just uh, this is an interesting keyboard. Like I said, one that we'll continue to take a look at, but we're not ready to quite call our default just yet. This was Rob for Android Community. 